Hey makers, it's Charlotte with Makesy. Today I'm here to help you find the best wick. When you're testing a new wick, troubleshooting is a core part of determining which the best wick is for your wax, fragrance, and vessel combination. Those are the three primary determinants that will help us figure out which wick is the right one to use. So if you've started burn testing any wick and it's not working exactly how you expected, I'm here to help you find out the next step. Let's define what it means for a wick to perform well or not so well. So if your wick is burning too hot, you may have heard this before if you're interested in candle making or you just burn a lot of candles. If your wick is burning too hot, that most likely means a couple of things. Number one, wick burning too hot can mean that it's forming a melt pool too quickly. That means that your wax is liquefying faster than it should. That's gonna reduce the amount of burn time in your candle and it may lead to other problems like smoking or sooting. Basically it just means the candle's getting really hot really fast. So how should it perform? Ideally, you wanna form a full liquid wax pool within two hours of lighting your candle. By the four hour mark, you should have at least half an inch of depth of liquefied wax in your candle. So if you light your candle and within 15 minutes you have a full melt pool, that's probably a sign that your wick is burning too hot. Another sign that your wick is burning too hot could be visible smoke or soot coming off of your candle. If you're seeing any of these things, it most likely means that you need to reduce the size of your wick. So if you're using our ultimate wicks and you need to reduce the size, you can do this in two ways. One way is to reduce the thickness of your wick. Overall, the less material, the less heat. So if you reduce the thickness, let's say you're using a 0.03 inch thick wick, that is the thickness of the material in inches, you can size down to a 0.02. The smaller the number, the thinner the wick. Another way to size down is to size down the width of your wick. Typically, if you're forming a melt pool really quickly, this is a good indicator that the wick might be too wide. So sizing down your width, again, just simply means going down to a smaller number, a smaller width, and doing a burn test with that smaller size. I don't recommend going from one extreme to another. Sometimes I have seen people burn test and they are using, let's say, the widest wick, 0.75 inches, and it's burning way too hot. So they jump down to half an inch or 0.375 inches in an effort to get their candle working properly. Then they went from really hot to not hot enough. So my recommendation is to take things one step at a time. If your wick is burning too hot, try sizing down one thickness. Try sizing down one width. Burn these candles side by side and see how they perform. If you're still burning too hot, go down one size again. But most of the time, just taking one step at a time will get you where you wanna be faster than if you start hopping all around. That's referring to your wick burning too hot. Now, what happens if the opposite is happening? What if your wick's not burning hot enough? What if you're not getting a full liquid melt pool? This means you need to size up. So if your wick is fizzling out, that's a really good indicator that you need to increase your thickness. There's simply not enough material for the wax and fragrance to flow up your wick. Sizing up and giving more material, more fuel for the fire, that will allow your candle to burn properly. If you're not forming a liquid melt pool within two hours, this can be a good indicator that you need to increase the width of your wick. Again, always take things one step at a time and start with our wick selection guide when you're first determining which wick size to use. That is how you troubleshoot the ultimate wooden wicks. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. Now go make it happen.